With the release of Inventor 20.18, um, Autodesk has allowed us to create um, a link between the Fusion 360 design and our Inventor. So using the AnyCAD technology Inventor, we can now open up um, as an AnyCAD model, the Fusion 360 model. Um, this is only available as a preview at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a little bit of a workaround or, uh, for if you, if you don't have version 2018.2 uh, on how to get a Fusion 360 model into, um, into Inventor. So first thing, once you've got your model open up in Fusion 360, we can go and export this out to one of the following formats. So there's the name and the format I'm going to export it through to is a step file. And then I'm going to export it to my desktop over here. Uh, once I've exported it to the desktop, I can go into my inventor and open it up from here. So file open, there's my step file, and select open. So what it does is it now, using the AnyCAD technology with reference model uh, selected, it's able to now pull that model into inventor. Once the model is in, um, we can go turn around, look at it, and we can also do some edits. So maybe I'll find that I want to just put maybe two holes over here. So using normal inventor functionality, let's just go put two holes over here and extrude that through. Okay. Once I've done that, um, maybe the designer who sent me the Fusion 360 file has decided, look, he, he wants to change the design. Maybe he wants to make uh, this flange a little bit uh, smaller. So he goes and makes the change in his Fusion 360. So I'm going to just modify this flange, just put on the bottom over here. Two minus 10 mils over there. I'm then going to go and save these changes out again by exporting to the same file name as well as the same file type. Okay, save it. it says it already exists. Would you like to replace it? Yes, I do. Once I replace it and I go back to my inventor, you'll notice that there's a lightning bolt next to my front pump cover step file, which says that it needs to be updated. So selecting update, you'll notice there now that the change has been made. It's uh, gone, it's, it's been decreased by 10 millimeters and as well as it keeping my extrusion hole that I've created. Okay, so that is it for me. Thank you very much for watching.